Music is all around us. It is in the songs of birds. It is in the sound of waves crashing against the shore. It is in the rumbling of the thunder. And it is inside every one of us. There are many ways of making music. Some people sing. The splendor falls on castle walls And snowy summits hold in story Some people play instruments. There are many different types of instruments. Some are large. Some are small. Some are made of wood. Some are made of metal. Some have strings. Some have to be blown into. Some have to be hit or shaken. For as many types of musical instruments there are, there are even more kinds of music. The character that the music conveys is called its mood. Some music sounds exciting. Some music sounds gentle. Some music sounds happy. Some music sounds playful. Some music sounds exotic. And some music sounds triumphant.
The volume or loudness of the music is called its dynamics. Some music is soft. The Italian word for soft is piano. The same piece of music can also be played at a much louder dynamic level. The Italian word for loud is forte. The speed at which the music is played is called its tempo. Some music can be very fast. Some music can be very slow. There are many Italian words that can describe the tempo of a piece of music. The tune of a piece of music, or the part of a piece of music that you can sing, is called its melody. The other notes that are played at the same time as the melody are called the harmony. An orchestra can play many different types or genres of music. They can play ballet music. They can play operatic music. They can play film music. They can play symphonic music. They can also play a very special kind of music called a concerto. A concerto is a musical composition usually composed in three parts, or movements, in which a solo instrument takes the leading role as it is accompanied by the orchestra. It takes a very long time to learn to play an instrument well. Musicians practice for many hours every day, for many years to become competent performers. Instruments are categorized into different groups or families according to a number of different factors. These factors include what materials they are made of and how they produce their sound. In the orchestra, there are four families of instruments. 
The first family is called the string family. All the instruments of the string family are made of wood and have four strings stretched across their bodies. String instruments can be played by drawing a bow across the strings or by plucking the strings with a finger, like a guitar. The string family can be found at the front of the orchestra and they are the most numerous. The second family is called the woodwind family. Most of these instruments are made of wood and produce their sound by the player blowing into a mouthpiece, which creates a column of air through the instrument. The player changes the notes that are being played by pressing down on keys on the body of the instrument. The woodwind instruments can be found in the middle of the orchestra at the back of the stage. The third family is called the brass family. All the members of this family are made of brass and produce their sound by the player buzzing their lips into a mouthpiece which is attached to the instrument. The player adjusts the note being played by buzzing their lips more tightly or more loosely and also by pressing down on valves on the instrument. The trombone does not have valves but instead has a slide which extends or shortens the length of tubing of the instrument, adjusting the note being played. The brass family can be found on the sides of the orchestra at the back of the stage. The fourth family is called the percussion family. Although there are many types of percussion instruments, all of them produce their sounds by being hit or by being shaken. The percussion family can be found on the outsides of the orchestra, at the back of the stage. The harp is a very special and unique instrument, which has many strings, 47 of them to be exact and is played by plucking the strings with the fingers or by brushing the fingers across the strings. The harp can be found behind the string family, usually to one side of the orchestra. A very important member of the orchestra is the conductor. The conductor does not play an instrument, but instead has a thin stick called a baton. The conductor uses the baton to indicate many things to the orchestra, such as how quickly or slowly they should play, or how loudly or softly they should play. The conductor can be found in the front of the orchestra. In the orchestra, the four families and conductor work together to create music in a truly collaborative effort. The conductor is in charge of telling all the members of the orchestra how they should play their parts. In this way, the conductor gets the members of the orchestra to fulfill their artistic vision for the piece of music. A vital skill for the members of the orchestra is their ability to listen to one another while they are playing and adjust their own playing according to what they hear their colleagues do. It is important for the players to know, for example, if they are playing too loudly or too softly, or if they are holding a particular note or notes for too little or too great an amount of time, or if they are phrasing something incorrectly. A good musician can tell a multitude of things by listening to their colleagues, often over a very great distance across the concert stage. Each section in the orchestra has a principal player, who is in charge of that section. The principal player's role is to communicate to the other players in that section exactly how each note should be played, and also to settle any disagreements the players in that section might have. In addition to this, the principal players of the orchestra might have other responsibilities, such as auditioning potential new members of the orchestra.
Although each section in the orchestra has their own part to play, the whole piece of music doesn't come together unless every individual player plays their part. These individual parts, none of them seemingly very important or significant in their own right, come together when each member of the orchestra contributes, and this coming together of musical ideas creates something magical. All of the music that you have heard in this video was performed by the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra and we hope that you have enjoyed learning about music and about the orchestra. Now you will be treated to a very special concert that the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra has recorded just for you. In the concert you will see the orchestra in action and you will have the opportunity to learn more about each of the instruments. Thank you, Kia Bonga, Kia Leboha, Danki, Kia Leboha and Nkosi.